हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय चैनल माय नेम इज़ करुणा एंड यू आर वाचिंग करुणा लाइव टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू शो यू हाउ टू प्रिपेयर होल तंदूरी चिकन तंदूरी चिकन इज अ वंडरफुल इंडियन एपिटाइजर एंड इट डज नॉट रिक्वायर एनी इंट्रोडक्शन बाय इट्स इट्स बेसिकली अ रोस्टेड चिकन मैरिनेटेड इन अ योगर्ट ग्रेवी विथ लॉट्स एंड लॉट्स ऑफ स्पाइसिस सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट नाउ आई हैव दिस होल चिकन आई हैव क्लीन इट वेल बोथ इन एंड आउटसाइड and i have dried it thoroughly using paper towels for the first round of marination i am using red chili powder here i am using regular red chili powder but um, you can use deghi mirch as well if we use deghi mirch it gives a good red color to the dish but i did not have it so i am using the regular red chili powder some salt and juice of one lemon now i'll mix all this in a bowl and add the juice of one uh, whole lemon as well i'll mix this well now on this dried chicken i'll run my knife over the meaty uh, places and i'll make tiny little gashes something like this these gashes will allow the marination to go inside the flesh as well I'll flip this chicken over and do the same thing on the other side as well. I'll just pat it dry again. I'll just leave the legs as is. Once I've made the gashes all over, it's time for me to apply my first coating of marination. I'm using a brush to apply this and I'll make sure that all the uh, spices get inside the gashes. Using a brush will allow you to apply the marination evenly. There's no need to apply a very thick layer of this masala. You can coat it very lightly. Now this is done from one side completely. I'll flip this over and do the same thing on the other side. I've coated this chicken thoroughly with my first round of marination and I'll let this sit for about 30 minutes before I apply yogurt based marination on top of this. In order to prepare yogurt based marination, I've used half cup of yogurt, quarter teaspoon of uh, garam masala powder. I've used this uh, tiny little spoon for measuring my quarter teaspoon. Half tablespoon of coriander powder, freshly ground ginger garlic paste, kasuri methi. That's the dried fenugreek leaves, red chili powder. You can use this as per your taste. If you want it more spicy, you can use little extra red chili powder. And if you want it less spicy, you can use less chili powder. Lemon juice of half lemon, quarter teaspoon of cumin powder, salt, and pepper. Now mix all this in the yogurt. I've used quarter teaspoon of garam masala powder, half tablespoon of coriander powder. approximately 1 tablespoon of ginger garlic paste some dried fenugreek leaves i'll just crush them and add it red chili powder i like my tandoori chicken on a little spicier side so i'll add a little extra chili powder lemon juice cumin powder quarter teaspoon salt pepper now mix this well I've mixed all the spices in this marination really well. I had used a thick Greek yogurt because I did not wanted uh, this um, marination to run down all over the chicken once it's applied. I basically wanted a thick coating over the chicken. I have this chicken sitting for about 30 minutes now and it's time for me to apply my yogurt based marination. I'll again use my brush to apply the yogurt based marination evenly over this chicken. Now 
Make sure you coat the chicken really well. The main reason for using the Greek yogurt is um, it will try to stick to wherever it is applied. I have applied this on one side now and it's time for me to flip over and apply it on the other side. I've coated this chicken really good and any leftover marination I'll try to put it in the cavity. Once you're done coating um, with the yogurt marination, you can rub some mustard oil over this chicken. This helps in holding all the spices together. I'm using mustard oil because I like the taste um, it gives to this tandoori chicken. You can use any other oil if you want to. For example, um, normal vegetable oil or olive oil. I've applied oil only on this part of the chicken. Now I'll use the skewers and I'll just try to get it like this. I'll flip this over and I'll apply some oil on this side as well. It's time to cook this chicken now. I'll be cooking this in the oven at uh, 400 degree Fahrenheit for about 25 minutes. I've used the aluminium foil um, around the bone part of its legs so that um, I just didn't want it to get burnt and I didn't want it to see it black. So I just um, wrapped it with the aluminium foil. Now I'm using this baking tray for cooking the chicken. I'll just cook the chicken over these celery sticks in this baking tray. I leave my skewers as is. I have just put this in the oven now. After about 20 minutes, this chicken is partially cooked. You can see that the sides are getting brown. I'll just flip this over and cook on the other side for about 20 to 25 minutes again. I just flip this over and I'll cook this for about 25 minutes again in a 400 degree Fahrenheit. This chicken is completely cooked right now. I had to bake it for about 20 to 25 minutes on each side. So it took a total of about 45 minutes. And in order to get a nice golden color, I had to broil it for about 10 minutes so overall it took me uh, 55 minutes to prepare this and you can see that it's perfectly cooked depending on different types of ovens cooking times and temperature may vary you can serve this chicken as an appetizer or you can serve it with some biryani rice just like how I've done here both the ways it tastes absolutely delicious Well, that's about it. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you have any questions or comments, please put it in the comment section below. If you ever try out this recipe, do let me know how it turns out. Thanks for watching. See you soon. Bye.